week we talked about an interesting case history. A woman who was so intensely preoccupied with her garbage that she had to wrap it up in festive paper and put a little bow around it before she could throw it away. Now, what did we call this woman? My mother. <laughs> Thank you, Sheldon. The term I was looking for was obsessive. Can anybody else give me an example? Yes, Matthew. How do you know if you're obsessed? Well, that depends. All right. What if you think about fish a lot? Uh, kind of on a regular basis. A couple hours a day, minimum. More on weekends and holidays. That sounds wonderful. It does? Yeah. May I have your phone number? <laughs> Matthew. I have an obsession. I, I think. I mean, I was a Marine, right? And everything we did was obsessed. Well, do you have one in particular, Nick? Yeah, whenever I walk, I have to lead off with my left foot. <laughs> and if by mistake I go with my right, I gotta skip twice and get back into the middle. Well, that's nothing. The guys look at me funny when I skip. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Nick. That sounds more to me like a habit, something you'll be able to break. Now, would anyone else like to share an obsession? Can I talk about toes? I don't think so. <laughs> Nick, if you could be any cool guy in the whole world, who would you choose? Me. Really? Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I wish my hair stayed around a little longer. <laughs> Higher up the ladder in the Marines? Well, you were a drill sergeant. That's terrific. Uh, I wanted to be an officer, but that didn't work out. Oh, sorry. Nah, don't worry. Oh, no, when I, when I look at myself, I'm looking at some pretty hot stuff. Matthew, you need to talk to you. Oh, good luck. See you later. Hi. We haven't really met. I'm Sheila. Hi. Hi. You know, I really identified with what you said in class today. Really? You like fish too? What do you know? Me? Oh no, no. I'm crazy about plants. See, I want to be a botanist. Ah, oh, no kidding. Well, I got my first plant at Woolworths when I was six years old. So now it's a big tree planted in my backyard. I got my first fish of Woolworth. Uh, it's in the backyard, too. It's in a car. <laughs> you know, when I heard you talk in class, I thought, now here's someone who understands that an obsession is really a form of passion. Yes, yes, uh, I do understand that. <laughs> so I say, the more passion in the world, the better, right? Right, yeah, passion gets my vote. <laughs> Would you like to see my room? Now? Yeah. There's something I want to show you. I want to see it. <laughs> it's a plant. I knew that. tremendous application as an alternative energy efficient light source. I've never seen anything like it before. The years to develop it. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm entering it in the Reynolds Science Competition. I really want to win. The first prize is... Summer Fellowship at Reynolds. I know I'm entering, too. Yeah? What's your project? I'm crossbreeding fish. See, I'm trying to develop a species that's more intelligent than your everyday average fish. Well, how do you test how smart a fish is? Oh, well, see, first you got to get these real little pencils. 
<laughs> um, I sort of put him through this maze. Yeah? Sounds great. You know, we really have a lot in common. Hey, did you know that in certain depths of the ocean, the distinction between plant and animal life is so blurred yeah, that's that... almost non-existent. Will you go out with me Friday night? <laughs> okay. longitudinal angle provides an optimum retracting base. Let's talk about girls. <laughs> How do you know if a girl is a girlfriend or a girl that's just a friend? How long have you been seeing Sheila? Uh, two and a half weeks, but I haven't even kissed her yet. Well, that doesn't mean she's not your girlfriend. Uh, how many times did you actually go out? Let's see. All right, the first time we went back to her room, we looked at all of her plants. Um, then we walked somewhere. We were holding hands. Um, then the next day I saw her and I waved to her. Uh, this doesn't have to hold up in court. <laughs> we're just looking for a round number. Four times. Four times? I think you're engaged. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Matthew, you got yourself a girlfriend. Really? Yeah, 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 oh, that's what I thought. Thanks, boy. <laughs> Not as good as yours. <laughs> I mean, they're not very good at all. I think I'll walk around and look at some of these losers. Where are the judges? Matthew, I'm so nervous. Me too. Here, this is for luck. <laughs> it's good for me. We're by Go ahead. Give it a try. What's this button for? Oh, you blow up the world with it. And if I push this button, you blow up the world in stages. Do you have anything for peace? Uh, you obviously don't understand military strategy. Excuse me? I was a Marine for 20 years. Oh. A, a general or a colonel? A sergeant. I'm a lieutenant in the ROTC. Drop and give me 10. <laughs> I'll be back with the rest of the judges in a minute. Oh, I was just kidding. <laughs> Psychokinetics. What's that? Like, beam me up, Scotty? <laughs> Please, don't trivialize this. This is a serious experiment in thought transference. Here, put on the Cerebro Intensifier. 
You mean that homework? Yeah. Now concentrate and focus your thoughts towards me. This is... Ridiculous. That's... Fantastic. Well, I'm... Convinced! Okay, you can stop. Now. I'm very impressed. Thank you for sharing your mind with me. It's okay. There's plenty to go around. My subject has been floating in a saline solution, totally enveloped by darkness and silence for three days now. Please, step back. You just don't know how far his personality is disintegrated. So, when do we start? One more exhibit before mine. Good luck to the both of us. Yeah. <gasps> this isn't happening! Jill, sure, what is it? I put it in its bed. Okay, look, just calm down, Jill. Everything's gonna be okay. I can't believe it. I'm not gonna win. It's over for me. I don't know what to say, Sheila. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. It was fine this morning. No one even came near it. Matthew, did you kill it? 